So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this block, which I've used in my Christmas wreath table runner pattern. So for this, we're going to be making half rectangle triangles. We're going to be making left half rectangle triangles and right half rectangle triangles. Fabric requirements for this block. For this block, you'll need two fabrics. You'll need to cut three rectangles from each fabric and they each need to measure eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. And the first thing we're going to do is draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of the lighter fabrics. I'm going to lay my ruler corner to corner, press down quite firmly and then draw a line coming out from the centre into the corner. On the wrong side of these three pieces, I've got one left slanted half rectangle triangle and two right slanted. Now, if we were going to be making half square triangles, we would just simply place these right sides together. But that's not the case for this one. So let me show you with the left slanted one, we're going to match the diagonals across the diagonal like this and then I'm going to pin this in place. And then the right slanted ones will be going in the opposite direction. So it's right sides together. but for the right slanted, they're going in the opposite direction. And again, I'm going to pin these in place. We've got a left slanted and a right slanted. And for this block, you're going to need two right slanted. Now I'm going to take those over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam on both sides of the line. So now that I've sewn a quarter inch either side of the line, I'm going to remove the pins and then I'm going to cut along that drawn line. And now I'm going to press the seams open. So I'm going to start by setting the seams and then pressing them open. So now we've got left slanting half rectangle triangles and right slanting half rectangle triangles. So the next thing we need to do is trim these down to the correct size. Now, if you do not have a speciality ruler, I have a way of doing it with a standard ruler. And I'm just going to grab a bit of card so hopefully you can see what I've done with my ruler. So using a Sharpie pen, I have marked my ruler. Now don't worry, you can remove your Sharpie pen lines with nail varnish remover once you've finished. So the first two lines I've put on this ruler 
for the line here and here. So this is three and a half inches by six and a half inches, and that's the unfinished size of the half rectangle. Uh, yes, the unfinished size for the half rectangle triangle for this project. And then I've also got two dots, one here and one here, and they are a quarter of an inch in from the corners. So this is the block size here, and then a quarter of an inch from that corner, we've marked a, a dot on the ruler, and a quarter inch from this corner, we've marked another dot. So, with our first piece, if I've chosen the right one, which I haven't, need uh, the one going in the opposite direction. This must be it. When I place it underneath the ruler, those two dots now lie on top of the diagonal seam line. And then we're going to be trimming the piece. And so you want to make sure that the sides of the ruler, there's fabric to the uh, right and top, and underneath the ruler, where you've got your blue line, well, mine's blue, where you've got your line, you've got fabric to the bottom and to the left. So when you trim, you need to make sure that you actually have fabric to trim on both sides. So I've got that lined up and now I am going to trim up one side and along the top. Now I'm going to rotate the piece 180 degrees and put it back, put the ruler back on top of it. Now this time I'm going to be lining those drawn lines on the ruler along the bottom and the side that I just cut. And again, I'm going to make sure that the dots are on the seam line. There, happy with that. And now I can trim up and down, up the side and along the top. So that's how you trim the right slanting half rectangle triangle. Now to trim the left slanting one, what you need to do is turn your ruler over. And now you're going to really repeat the process. So again, I've got my dots lined up on my diagonal and I'm making sure that I've got fabric all the way around. Now this time I need to trim along the top and down the side. So I'm going to um, grab my rotating cutting board just to make that a little bit easier. So I've got that where I want it and now I'm just rotating the board around so that it is easier for me to cut along the top and down the left hand side. So I'm going to rotate that unit around and then I'm going to this time line the blue lines with the cut I've, edges I've just cut so that I can trim the top and the left side. So once everything is lined up, I'm just going to rotate the board, double check I haven't moved anything. And trim. So if you don't have a speciality ruler, that's the way you can trim your half rectangle triangles. I'll just put that board to one side. 
Now the other thing I want to point out before I trim the rest of my pieces is down in this corner here the diagonal seam now does not run into the corner it's slightly offset now that's perfectly okay and that's how we account for the seam allowance so I'm just going to trim the others So I've laid the units out in the block layout and now I'm going to sew the top row to the bottom row. I've pressed the seams open so I should be able to match the seams when I'm sewing them together. Um, just going to pin through the seam on both pieces. So I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and sew with a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to set the seams and press them open. And then we're going to return to the block layout. And now we're going to sew this side to the center. I'm going to start by matching the seams in the middle. I have a video on how to get perfect points so if you right mouse click on the link above it will take you to that video. So once again I'm going to sew with a quarter inch seam. So I'm going to set that seam and press it open. And then returning to block layout, I'm going to pin and sew the other side. And then we're going to sew the last seam. So I'm going to set the final seam and press it open. And then I'm going to give the block its final press. So there we go, congratulations. You have made this block using half rectangle triangles and I've used it in my pattern for a Christmas table runner. And if you'd like to have a go at making that, then please scan the code and it will take you to my website where you can purchase my PDF pattern for this. Well, thank you very much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and do select notifications so that you get to hear about all my future videos. Want to learn more? Watch another one of my videos from the Quilt Block series. Click above to go to my playlist.